Okay, in this video I'm going to show how to order a KTX bullet train rather than the SRT. First thing you need to do is turn off any sort of VPN that you might have or else you won't be able to order uh, the actual ticket. It will uh, not let you get to that stage. So let me go ahead and turn mine off or pause mine for now. From there, you're going to open up the KTX app. And as you can see, it loads straight to an English speaking screen. If this doesn't happen, you can go into settings, which will be in the top right, and drop down the languages and select English, and then it will bring you to this page. From here, you're going to pick your departure, which is going to be up here. A very common one that I went out of was Chonin Asan, that was right near base. So you're going to click that. Then for arrival, I like to go to Daegu a lot. And the location I like to go to that was closest to everything was Dong Daegu. So as you can see, I've scrolled down. I'm going to pick Dong Daegu there. You can change your day and your time that you want to travel by clicking there. And let's say we want to go Friday. And let's say we want to start looking at 7 a.m. Select 07. And then from there, you're just simply going to click back in the date of departure area, and it'll go back from there. You can change the number of individuals you want to buy tickets for by clicking this here. You can change adults or children here. And then to simply make that go away, you're just going to click again. And then from here, you're just going to hit inquiry. And this is going to pull up the tickets available for that criteria. So as you can see, all the tickets are KTX on the left-hand side. The first column on the left is the KTX train number. The departure time after that, the arrival time, is the uh, third column over from the right. And then economy class is this column here, which is where most of us travel. And then first class. From experience, there's not much of a difference, so I recommend just doing economy class. But let's say you accidentally messed up and you actually want to look at more times and you scroll down and you realize the last train listed is only 10.54 and you need a 12 p.m. Uh, time. Simply scroll back up to the top and cl click the next here at the top right of the screen on the top. Once you do that, it'll load the next time. So again, here's 10.54 and then it'll scroll down a little further and let's say the closest time to 12 o'clock is the 12.39. We're simply going to select that one, and it's going to pull it up. The KTX number, the departure, the arrival, and we're going to go ahead and select reservation. Once we've selected reservation, we're going to need to input all of these, this information here. So simply type in your name. Do a password that you're going to remember. It needs to be 6 to 13, so I'm just going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You'll need to be able to recall that when you want to look up your ticket with this app later. So make sure you can remember it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. My nationality is American, and it's all the way at the bottom. Right there. And then from there, an email that you can use, again, to recall the ticket later. You're going to be able to recall your ticket through the app using your email and your password. So from there you're going to agree, click next, then here's going to be your overview. Your name, gender, nationality, email. Notice here it says the train is sold to Busan. That is not your train, that's just the train line. Your train is right below that. Departure from Chona Nasan and arrival on Dongdaegu. For a total of one person, economy class, here's your seat number, 12A would be my seat number, on the KTX 027. From here, as I'm a foreigner, I'm going to use the credit card selected issued overseas. From there, I'm going to hit check out. This is why you have to make sure your uh, VPN is off or else you won't be able to get past this stage. Once you agree to all the terms and conditions, here's your price amount. Select next. If you don't get this coming page, it's because your VPN is on or your connection is somehow faulty. From here, you're very simply going to enter your card digits here. So let's just make one up. Two, 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 two. And then this fun screen pops up. 
It's the same thing, it's just an added layer of security. So go ahead and type in the next four numbers of your card. Hit OK. Next four numbers of your card. Hit OK. And then the last four numbers of your card. From here, you're going to have your, uh, your expiration month and your year. And then simply from there, you're going to hit next and you'll have tickets. So once you have that ticket bought, if you want to be able to pull that ticket up at a later time, simply what you're going to want to do is you're going to go ahead and open the app. You're going to open the app here as if you were going to buy a ticket. And then rather than going to ticket reservation, Oh, let it load for a second. So here's where you would have started ticket reservation. You're going to go to check or refund ticket. Once you click that, it's going to ask you for your name. And then you can either get that ticket through an email, a password, or a credit card. I personally like to do the password. And so I'm going to see if I can do... Oh, well, since I didn't actually buy a ticket, that wouldn't work. So what I would do then is I would just put in my password. So I think mine was 777777. 777. Once I enter that password in there, make sure my nationality is selected. And then I would simply hit inquiry and then my QR code would pop up. Now, what's really important is that you cannot screenshot in this entire app, which is why I'm making the video this way as opposed to my other way. So you won't be able to screenshot it, at least if you're using an Android. I think iPhones are different, but for Android, you cannot. So that's it. That's how you order a ticket through the KTX app.